Welcome to The Voice Summit here on the campus of NJIT. That is the New Jersey Institute of Technology, for those of you who may not know. This is the largest Voice Summit, I don't know, in the country. We're talking to Joel Bloom in a second, the president of NJIT. Maybe in the world, I don't know. Joel, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you, and welcome back to Voice 2. Voice 2, now we have to set this up. We were here last year, and I'm going to say this, there were fewer people, fewer exhibits. There wasn't this much energy, even though it was a big deal. What makes this Voice Summit an even bigger deal, Dr. Bloom? Well, obviously, the industry, word of mouth, and people said, how did you miss it? Whether they were speaking here in New Jersey, across the country, in California, or possibly overseas in London. Um, as you probably recall, we had 11 countries here last year, and I think we're over 20 countries uh, represented. So it's an international conference. It is the largest international conference on voice technology. Let's put this in context. The term voice technology gets used a lot. And by the way, the interviews that you're gonna see, the programming that you're gonna see, particularly under the banner of our new series, Think Tank, big picture discussion. There are a lot of issues here with voice technology, but first of all, can you define, Joel, voice technology? I just should disclose two things. Joel is a member of our board, of right. our not-for-profit company, and also NJIT is one of our higher ed partners. Go ahead. So voice technology is what allows you to engage with any current form of technology without keystroking. It listens to the spoken word and the technology reacts to the spoken word. It's all about language. You'll hear the term natural language. It just means you can talk to technology and it'll respond to the narrative it's hearing. That's simple. Okay, this event is sponsored by Amazon Alexa. Is that the prime, I mean Alexa, is that the primary voice vehicle that has kicked off this explosion? Uh, they were, I don't know if they were first to the market, but as we know, we saw Echo three plus years ago. We saw Alexa three and a half years ago. So they were probably the first in the application in the consumer marketplace. The technology has been around for a while. They just optimized its use and won the early part of the marketplace. There's a lot of competition now. Uh, Samsung is here with Bixby, for example. We'll be talking to those folks. Yeah. So there, there's a lot more competition. Google's in this as well? Google's in it. We'll um, talk to them. Yeah. A lot of players. A lot of players. And the, the bigs, those are the bigs. There are a lot of smalls. Yeah, talk about that. Talk about the startups, because I know that for, for the university, that is, in fact, a key. Helping individuals, entrepreneurs, who want to get into this technology, but what does it mean to help them with a startup? Well, for example, this You're morning- They're not giving them money. Uh, uh, they do get money. This, the, this morning, David Izbitsky, the Tell chief- who that is. He's the chief evangelist of Alexa and Echo. A 1998 alum of NGIT, the Albert Dorman Honors College. David asked the people this morning, how many of you actually have added skills, the term of, term of art today is skills, to either X, to the echo. Meaning you just did a little, you used your echo and you took a little further by actually doing coding via your voice. You don't have to sit down and code into it. What did he find out? Uh, he found out it must have been about two thirds of the people in the audience. I don't know, about a thousand people there this morning, their hands went up. And then later he brought up some of the developers, designers, who they've contracted with for gaming, for example. So they, Amazon Alexa, now is hiring smaller companies to develop the next iterations of voice technology, the content. So that's where the startups come in. Hold on, let's get this right. I, I made a, did I make a mistake when I said there is no money? What I meant was NJIT is not providing oh. grants to startups. But oh, you know, we, we do. You're going to hear from and Simon Nines we're after to me. To him. Uh, he's leading that effort for NJIT. Are they grants, loans? What are they? They're, well, it, it happens in several ways. For example, faculty and students here are developers. They're designers. There are, I don't know, about 300 students who have grants this summer to work on their technology. That could emerge into intellectual property commercialization. We also give seed grants to faculty to get their research started or to make a change in the research. Everyone today 
because of the ease of technology, can be a designer or a developer. Anyone? Anyone. Well, not maybe anyone. But you have Most to have people. desire, you have to have some skills, you have to be tough as an entrepreneur and right. deal with the peaks and valleys, if you will. But the other thing that's interesting is, this Voice Summit, this huge Voice Summit, and our partners at NJTV News did a great job. Um, we're here on the second day. They were here yesterday for the kickoff. Great story, you should check it out on NJTV News. But what I was struck by is not only the number of people here, but the number of younger people here. Um, and I think sometimes people, you know, Joel and I are dressed, we were joking about this, we're dressed in suits and ties. There are a whole bunch of younger people here, let's say dressed down, T-shirts, whatever. They are business people. They want to get all in here, and they're entrepreneurs. So this year, as compared to last year, if you peruse who's in, who's in attendance, you'll see many more CEOs. So CEOs, the chief executive officer of the various companies. So, you know, some of us are stuck in a groove. You assume CEO, a little white hair. These are the CEOs in their T-shirts, their jeans, and their la latest Just footwear. as committed, if not more. A and working hard. It's harder today, you know about all the startups that do not succeed. Yep, the vast majority. The va you know, 99% of them really don't succeed. So these guys and gals are in this for a haul. Look at the representation of all of the companies here. These are the ones that are succeeding. We could probably fill 10 times this space, probably 90 times this space with all those that didn't succeed. Joe, before it's I let tough. you go, I'm sure. sorry. Um, Newark. Yeah. The Voice Summit coming in Newark. Okay, it's one thing to be on your campus. It's another thing to be a part of this city. Why Newark and how much does it matter to the city, Brick City? It matters big time. And you may have read uh, just in the last week, Newark is the fastest developing tech hub in the greater metropolitan New Jersey. Hold on, I thought Brooklyn was. No, Newark. Read the press. I we mean, got, we got an audience in Brooklyn. You're telling me well, Newark I, we, is bigger? You know, Newark is bigger. Faster than, growing. It's fastest growing. It's not bigger. What does that Brooklyn. mean? Break that down. Oh, well, it's probably per capita. And you know, remember Newark's a small size. Yes. So they always use per capita. So per capita, it's, it is the growing, it's the fastest growing number of employed people here working in the tech industries. Um, it's estimated to be nearly 30,000 people in this size city. So it's a small city. Brooklyn is a bigger city yeah, than Newark. Yeah, Newark is only 22 square miles. Right. People forget right. that. Right. So, so there are jobs. There's jobs. economic development. Amen. What else, real quick? Well, there's all kind of properties being developed. Uh, one of the big, I think it was JP, just invested $570 million plus dollars into purchasing property. We saw what Lotus did a couple years ago. Uh, you saw um, our friends just opened, took a church and opened into a development area, uh, uh, Google. A lot and, uh, going on. Yeah, a lot going on. By the way, check our website to find out the other spots. And, and you know, so, and our students, they're roaming around here. They're getting the jobs. It's a wonderful economy for people who just are a little tech savvy, good communication skills. That's the other half of this equation, the ability to communicate well. The human side of it. The human side. Joel and I talk about human communication human, all the time. Yeah. So, big it's time. big deal. Big deal. All right, so this is the official Voice Summit hat. It is. We're gonna pay for this, I just wanna make that clear. Um, it's happening at NJIT, the largest in the world. Go big or go home. This is Steve Adubato, that is Joe Bloom. We are at NJIT, this is the Voice Summit. Stay with us right after this. Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of Think Tank with Steve Adubato has been provided by Hackensack Meridian Health, PSENG, the Northward Center, the law firm of Gibbons PC, the New Jersey Education Association, Choose New Jersey, and by MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey. Promotional support provided by Insider NJ and by NJ.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.